Hello, musicians. Thank you for joining us. My name is Andrew Mercer, and this is part three of our Spooky Soundscape series. This is also one of many parts of our Spooky Sound series for Halloween, so be sure to check out all those tutorials on my channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to edit all the sound, sound samples that you brought in from the internet into a uh, maybe like a five minute, four minute soundscape that you can use to play while kids are coming to your house for, um, for Halloween treats or maybe in the background for a party. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with my wind sound. Now I want an underlying background wind sound to be happening all the time through my, my soundscape. Now my wind sound is right here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to, let's have a listen to it first of all. Now it sounds a little loud, and if I look at the uh, the the uh, amplitude or the the thickness of these sound waves that are here compared to the others, it's going to be pretty loud. I don't want it to be overbearing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the volume down on that sample. So the way that I do it is I grab my gain controller here on the track itself, and I'm going to move it down to around minus 25, to minus 25 dB. And that's going to lower the sound sample down so it's not going to interfere with the other sound samples. Let's have a listen. There you go. It's much quieter now. Now, the other thing is, this sample is about 2 minutes and 10 seconds or so long. You can see on my timeline up at the top. I want it to be around 4 minutes or give or take around 4 minutes. So I need this to repeat. Now, if I just go copy and paste this here, what will happen is, at the end, this part right here where it dies out, it will the sound will the wind will stop and then the sound will repeat again if I was just to copy and paste repeat the sound sample I want where, where one sample ends one wind sample ends and the next one starts I want it to be seamless so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this track I'm gonna duplicate it so I click the tab on the left hand side of the track and I go up to edit and I go down to duplicate or command D so duplicate. Now that's going to make an exact copy of my first track with the slider setting and everything exactly the same. You see my volume setting is the same. My gain setting is exactly the same on both. So now I'm able to uh, move the second track so that they overlap. Now you're saying, how did he just do that? How did he move that track? Well, I use the time shift tool. You see it's up here at the top. It's like a little line with two arrowheads. And if I, uh, I select that tool, I can grab any sound sample and move it anywhere I want. And I make it overlap. If I did it like this at the end, then one sample would die out and the other one would start and you'd hear the, the break. So I'm going to overlap them, give a good overlap. Now if I play those from at, from the place of the overlap, you won't tell the difference. Hey, look. It sounds great. Look at that there, law. Anyway, that's that. So now our sound, our background wind noise is ready to go. Now let's have a look at some other ones. I have a thunder sample here I want to have happen sometimes throughout the the um, the soundscape, um, but I want to have it more than once. So let's have a listen, see how it sounds by itself first. Pretty nice, and you can hear the wind in the background as well, so it sounds pretty good. I want to copy this. Now this is not going to overlap with each other, so it doesn't really matter if there's a break in between. So first thing I do is I'll use my mouse and I'll select the sound sample. I'll go up to copy and I'll just um, copy it. Now I'll put the mouse, I'll put my mouse wherever I want the new version of the sample to play, and I'll go paste. And there you go, here it is again. Now, if I want to move that, if it didn't ha happen right where I wanted it, I can just grab it with my time shift tool and place it somewhere else. And if I want that to happen a few times, I can make a few copies. Put my mouse down again and paste, maybe again and paste. You know, I can do it as many times as I want. And again, and paste. And I can move all those independently. I'll go back to my time shift tool. You know, I can move that one there, and that one there, and that one there, and place it throughout my soundscape so it works for me. Now let's have a look at another one. Um, I'm going to take my... I have a cat sound at the, at the top, which is really cool. I'm going to select my top, my cat sound. I know it's really small here now. And you can, you can blow this up. If you want to use your magnifying tool over on the right, you can blow this up so you can have more control if you need that. I can let me hear that sound sample now. Go from here. 
Wow, that's scary. So again, I can use my, I go to my selection tool up at top again, my selection tool. I'll place the cursor where I want to, for it to be copied. And I'll just go copy. Oh, I'm sorry. First, I have to select my sound. I'm sorry. I have to select the sound. I have to go copy. And then I have to place the cursor where I want the new version to go and hit paste. And I can do that over and over as well. Okay, and then I have footsteps, I have some psycho screaming, I have all kinds of things. You can play with this and get the um, to get the soundscape exactly the way you want it to be. Now, you do that yourself. You, you'll, you'll have all kinds of different things you want to do. I'll also tell you, as I did in the last one, look at the other tutorials I have here on how to make demonic laughing sound and how to make your voice sound really creepy. And you might want to uh, personalize this to people that are going to be coming to your house. Like, for example, if you're if you have kids of your own, when um, you can have your kids do the voices, and they can have little messages that they may want to say. You know, if you're coming to 41 Love Street, beware. And and then uh, that could be playing throughout the evening. Also, if you have a uh, if you have students in your class that you're doing this for, or maybe this is a party and you know people are going to be there, you can do the demonic speaking part yourself and and have little messages throughout the evening or throughout the day that will frighten all the people. And you know what? People love to have themselves immortalized in art. So uh, that, that'll be a real hit, I, I guarantee you. Okay, so when you get all this done, make sure you save as you go. And next time I come back for the next tutorial, I'll show you how to export this so you can use it on your MP3 player or on a CD or whatever you want to use for playback. Okay, stay tuned and make sure you give this a like if it helps and a subscribe. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.